Okay, so in my last video, I talked about how to save money skating. And now as a follow-up to that video, I wanna talk about some skate hacks that you need to know. Some of this will be money related, you know, tips for you to save money. And some of this will just be when you're learning tricks, some hacks that you can apply to maybe help you learn, maybe help you progress faster. So right off the bat, I wanna go straight into this video. Number one is to make some sort of design around where your bolts are. So this could be either like a square or like a circle, maybe a star right where the, your bolts are. And if you want, like if you wanna go the extra mile, put a huge X in the middle of your board. Now you may be wondering why some of you may already can see where this is going, but this is hopefully the idea behind this is to prevent you from landing in the middle of your board. Cause as we know, typically when you land too heavy on the middle of your board, your board snaps. And it's just also like a good habit to have to try to mentally train yourself to land on the bolts because when you land bolts, it's usually the cleanest looking way to land. So yeah, I mean, we've seen this to an extreme with like Chris Chan years ago where, was it Chris Chan or it may, might have been Braille? But they put knives, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. They put like knives all around the board so that it would like force them to land on bolts because if they didn't, obviously they would stab themselves. You obviously don't have to go to that extreme, but it's the same principle, you know, just trying to hone in this idea that you should land bolts. Great hack to use. Number two, fanny packs. Now I'm not saying you gotta rock them because they look cool. As time progresses, they are slowly becoming out of the trend, I guess. Um, but these are perfect. And the reason why skaters use them a lot is because they're perfect little toolkits to have. You know, this is where you can carry your phone, your skate tool, extra bearings, extra hardware, extra laces, anything like that. And it's super small. You just keep it around you. Uh, when you're skating, you're, you know, you have to let it you have to set it down, but uh, it's super easy to carry. And it's, you know, before this whole fanny pack wave, I used to bring a backpack to the park. So now the fanny pack's just, it's a nice little, uh, something short, something small. It's a nice little addition. Okay, number three, uh, if you don't have shoe goo, I would recommend hot glue in your laces, like right where that circle area is on your laces, hot glue that area. I think Chris Chan said something similar before, just pretty much the, the same idea of just adding that extra layer so you don't rip that part, you know, you gotta get a little, just some sort of adhesive, some sort of material that can lessen the blow from rubbing around on your grip tape. Very straightforward. Number four, duct tape the inside of your shoes, okay? So I know a lot of people that don't like shoe goo, their main complaint is, I don't want my shoe to look like a, you know, a glob of goo. And so I always just say, you know, just put duct tape on the inside or even put shoe goo on the inside of your shoe. That way you can keep the same look of your shoe, you don't mess up your board feel, and you still have a little layer of protection. You know, you could even tape your socks if you want or whatever to have that extra layer of protection. Number five, uh, clean your bearings a lot with like a toothbrush, toothpick, whatever, and put some WD-40 in your bearings. Uh, you know, it's something that you always want to have. You don't want to have drag when you're skating. Number five, this is kind of a saving money hack as well. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but typically when you're putting wax on a ledge, it tends to shed or like shave off and you just have little pieces of wax, which is fine. But if you really want the, the ledge to grind and, and it to be as buttery as possible, just use a lighter. Burn the wax just a little bit, but don't go crazy. Cause if you go crazy, you're gonna, you know, potentially harm a lot of people at the park. Um, just have some little drips and you don't want it to just have drips melted on the ledge either. You know, you wanna be a little precise with it, but you know, burn your wax a little bit and that way you can just get it as greasy as possible. The other thing too, if you don't wanna go through this route, you know, maybe you don't want to, uh, like I said, maybe you don't want all these little drips of wax all over the ledge. You could use even like some, some sort of oils. Like I literally saw this guy at the park the other day. He had a paintbrush and I think it was like coconut oil and he just, he lathered it on the ledge. Obviously do your research before. I probably should do a little bit more research before giving this advice, but it's the same idea. You know, there are other oils that you can find probably in your house already. And then just use like a little, you know, bring a little paintbrush and just La lightly lather it on the ledge. Be really, really, really careful though. Okay, number six, uh, try to find any like skate spots app or just reach out to people in general. Uh, try to find any, like if you're, I, I don't know, like if you're in LA or something, try to find an LA skate page that has all the skate spots. This will save you a ton of time, especially if, you, if you're if you in LA, I mean, you're, there's skate spots out your door, but those skate spot apps are game changers. They really help you so you don't have to drive and spend hours of your day trying to find the next spot to hit. And lastly, just to keep this video as precise as possible. Come to the park, come to the spot, start your day skating 
with a mission. There's been so many times um, that I've gone to the park and I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I spent like three hours just warming up, doing the regular tricks that I normally do. And it's just a waste of a day. You know, have something in mind, create a trick list. That's actually, you know what? That's the bonus hack, hack number eight or whatever. Create a trick list. You know, obviously skating is supposed to be fun. You don't always have to, you know, treat it like a chore. But if you want to progress as quick as possible, you got to have something in mind before you go and skate. Or else, like, like I said, you're just going to be spending hours of your day just doing the same tricks over and over and over. Which is fine. You'll get consistent at those tricks. But if you want to progress, you got to learn more tricks. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's all I got. I was seven, eight hacks, whatever you want to call them. Tips, skate tips that you need to know. Hopefully you took something away from this and hopefully... You know, tomorrow or whenever you go skate, you can apply at least one or two of these. Uh, until the next video, peace.